Let's talk about Ashley Drive. Why is the conversation being had right now to remove and replace or, or what's going on at Ashley Drive? Essentially, what they're going to do is take the Ashley exit, which, you know, is downtown, is elevated, goes over Laurel, goes over uh, some streets as a as a viaduct. They're going to bring it down to grade in a couple places um, and reconnect some streets. So um, that is... Um, you know, it's kind of like 175, but really short. But but the same effect, and for all the same reasons we already talked. About. Similar, yeah. It's you know, again, uh, the devil's in the details. It depends on the number of lanes and the quality of the boulevard, and you know, the areas around it. But yes, it's an improvement for sure. Um, and so I think you'll see here there's some dedicated bike infrastructure. Um, but in any case, it's it is it is a freeway removal light. So we had we got five point three million dollars from the federal government to take this challenge on, and you can you can see here in this rendering. I mean, it would be it would be amazingly beautiful to have mm -hmm. something like this in downtown Tampa versus what we have now. And I believe you could still easily access the interstate with a boulevard like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know that there would be a huge negative impact on accessibility right. to the to 275. Right. Yes. And you know, there's a lot of land. The, the old Army Navy store is a part of this project and is going to see. Um, you know, I think some redevelopment for affordable housing. And so we're getting ready to also put out an RFP for the Army Navy Royal Lot in downtown, which in downtown, as you mentioned, has unlimited density and intensity. So that could be Go big. a very pivotal um, redevelopment opportunity that will introduce additional affordable housing into the urban core. Yeah, you got to go big on that one, right? That's, a, that's an amazing site and an awesome opportunity. I wasn't aware the city owned that site. We do. So Fortune, from Tampa, Laurel. Laurel. Yep, from Laurel all the way down. So, so that north of Fortune. And, so that's yep. a great lot. And yes. the CRA, let me just say, the Community Redevelopment Agency was the purchaser of the lot. So, Got it. Um, so the, it's a combination the city, through, with the city and the right. CRA. Yes. Now, what are we looking at here? This will be a part of that affordable housing solution. This is going to be, we'll put out an RFP for this. Um, request for proposals, and it will have certain parameters to it. Given that it is in the CRA, there will be that affordable housing component, and I, we will look to specify minimum number of units and also um, different income tiers that those units will serve. Um, and then uh, other development aspects, there'll be some mobility aspects in there. Um, I think that we're also working with FDOT because there is going to be a reconfiguration of that Ashley right. exit to create really a huge opportunity here to introduce development that um, serves a number of different areas. Hey guys, if you want to watch the full episode of this clip, click right here. Make sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Thank you for watching.